Telegram got a 7.5 update and brought various number of improvements. For example, useful widgets for mobile platforms, a feature that was available only in secret chats and groups with unlimited number of people. This and other features you can find in a new update. Welcome to the Teleblog channel. In a second, you're gonna find out everything about this new update. In the meantime, subscribe to our channel in Telegram, where we post the latest news related to the Messenger. You can find the link in the description box. So, late in the evening on February 23rd, Telegram introduced the latest version for the Android users. And the next morning on February 24th, iOS users also got a chance to try this new update. Previously, only secret chats had the auto-delete feature. You could set a timer for one second to one week. And now, auto-delete messages are available in any chat. I should mention that auto-delete only applies to messages sent after the timer is set. Earlier messages will stay in the chat history. Another specific thing about this feature is that the auto-delete timer starts when messages are sent and not when they are read. You need to long press any of the messages in the chat, then press select, then click erase chat in the top left of the screen and select auto-delete. Speaking of limits, you can choose either 24 hours or 7 days. Once done, you'll get a notification saying the timer is set, and by long pressing any of the texts, you will see the remaining time. Remember, this feature is available in any kind of chat, and only admins can enable or modify the timer in groups and channels. Next stop is widgets, which by the way, I'm very excited about. The Telegram team did their best and created home screen widgets. There are two kinds of them. The chat widget shows a preview of recent messages, while the shortcut widget shows only names and profile pictures of the people you most communicate with. To add a widget on Android, press and hold on your home screen, then tap widgets and select the option you want. On iOS, we also press and hold the home screen, then tap the plus on iOS and search for Telegram. The team reported that on Android, chats and messages in the widget will always be up to date, and you can further expand the widget. While on iOS, widgets will only get fresh data occasionally and can't be expanded. This is due to system limitations. By the way, they could have added a little more widget options for iOS, including sizes, which are still available for this system. With the new update, channel and group owners and admins are able to create expiring invite links with a limited duration, number of users or both. To view and manage invite links, tap to open your group or channel's profile, click edit at the top right corner of the screen and select invite links. Once done, you'll see the link below on the screen where you can select share by tapping on it, see who created the link and change the parameters of its work. And by tapping the three dot menu, you can get a scannable QR code which you can place on your website or print it out and put it somewhere in the city. There's also another way you can create a QR code. Just click invite, then select invite link. And like mentioned before, you can tap the three dots near the link and create the code. By the way, you can also manage the links there. As for the channels, it's slightly different. You have to go to the profile, then click subscribers and select invite link. This feature is super useful because group or channel admins can see which users joined using each invite link to find out where new members came from or which format has been most effective for growth. Next, we have groups with unlimited members, improved chat import from other apps like WhatsApp, and a couple of other cool features that improve your experience of using Telegram. If you haven't done so, subscribe to our channel, please. There's a lot more fascinating stuff ahead. Telegram 7.5 update introduces groups with unlimited members. I'll remind you that previously, Telegram groups allowed up to 200,000 members. But now, thanks to the new update, groups that are close to the limit can now convert into broadcast groups that allow unlimited members. It's worth mentioning that converting to a broadcast group makes it so that only admins can send messages, but members can still join voice chats. We've already discussed with you that this is kind of a pay 
way back to the trendy clubhouse. But the bottom line is, it's not exactly like that. The Telegram developers specified that the broadcast groups are ideal for large communities where people can follow along and catch exclusive interviews, news or just casual talks. Telegram also encourages all users to migrate to their messenger, and this transition has become much more convenient now, thanks to the fact that since the last update, users have been able to import chat history from other messengers. In version 7.5 it was refined and expanded, and with the update, imported messages will now appear sorted by their original date. The messenger team points out that this works when Telegram chat is new or has fewer than a thousand messages, otherwise new messages appear at the end of the existing chat history. Telegram also got an improved reporting system. It's now possible to select specific messages when sending a report, which will speed up the process of such requests. Additionally, all reporting options allow you to add a comment to give more context. And of course, a new update always means new animations. You can see them on the screen right now. And I'll remind you that to see this animated emoji, it's necessary to send an emoji separately in any chat. By the way, I'd also like to point out that, unfortunately, we didn't get the group call calls promised earlier in the latest update. Apparently the messenger team has no time to finish them, but hopefully by March we'll get this opportunity. And right now, share in the comments below the video which feature you like the best and which, on the contrary, seems useless to you. I read all the comments and I try to answer each and every one of them. If you like this update review, give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate your support. It's the Teleblog channel. Subscribe and be trendy.